everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, today we are doing an iconic wig recreation. Yes, we are doing a drag version of Jessica Rabbit. Ooh, you had plenty money. I can't afford that song. <laughs> but before we get started, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is one of the leading brands in men's grooming and by far my first choice when it comes to shaving down there <laughs> with products like the Lawnmower 4.0. Yes, a sleek, sexy design. The Lawnmower 4.0 is the top of the tops when it comes to groin razors. Yes, <laughs> not only that, it has a light on it so you can see it while you shave and a three point lock system so you don't have it going off in your bag while you're traveling. Last thing you need is for this thing to start chewing through your clothes. Be sure and use my code JAMESM and save 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Now we got our sponsor out of the way. Let's get started with this fabulous video. First things first, I have to reset. So, be right back. <laughs> all right, I am back. I got the hair all on the head. Now let's get started with Jessica Rabbit. Yes. Okay, so I took my earrings off because they were driving me insane and hurt my ears. They're cute, but they hurt, all right? And I'm not gonna be suffering the whole time doing this. So first things first, I'm gonna take sections of the hair. I'm gonna part it. So Jessica Rabbit has a hard part in her hair. It's very much like a 1940s film noir kind of reference. The exact reference is Veronica Lake. Yes, Veronica Lake was an actress in the 1930s or 40s, I'm kind of, Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that's around the era of when she was popular. Probably, I think it's the 30s, because it was a little older. But she was famous for having like this long, ashy blonde hair, and it would always be like pulled over her face like that. They called it a peekaboo bang. And it was really, really beautiful and really sexy hairstyle, but it had its faults because it was during wartime. And she was so influential that ladies that worked in the factories actually were doing their hair like that. And there was fear that girls are gonna get their hair caught in machinery while they're working because they had this big peekaboo bang blocking their vision. So Veronica Lake famously changed her hairstyle to aid the war effort. Can you believe that? <laughs> she helped save some she helped save some lives in the country by changing her hair. Ugh, how fabulous is that? Although downside of that is her career suffered greatly because it was kind of a big, you know calling card for her, you know, everyone like noted her for that specific thing. When she changed it, it didn't really work. Also, she only made like a handful of movies because, well, she had a very tumultuous life full of drama and she had a reputation of being difficult, which in old Hollywood terms means she's a woman that said no to things and had an opinion that didn't mesh well with the men there that basically wanted her to like, you know, be the sexy thing and not talk back. So yeah, she got that label early on and had a very, very short run with Hollywood. I think her last film she did was called Flesh Beast in the 1960s where she plays like an evil like doctor that's trying to like revive, you know, the Third Reich with maggots. <laughs> it's, so, it's bizarre. It is bizarre. But yeah, that is the direct hair reference for Jessica Rabbit is Veronica Lake because she was a big film noir actress with iconic hair. But I don't remember where I read it, but I think it might have been like an old book about Roger Rabbit where they were discussing some of the inspirations for Jessica. She was a huge composite of many different women. It was Veronica Lake's hair, Rita Hayworth's hair color. They wanted bright red and it was Jane Mansfield's body and Lauren Bacall's voice. And of course, Jessica Rabbit was voiced by the very gorgeous and sexy Kathleen Turner. Iconic Kathleen Turner, yes. One of those voices that definitely, ugh, is like butter. It is so beautiful, her voice, so velvety. And I am obsessed with Kathleen Turner, as you already know. I'm a huge fan of like films like Serial Mom. That's my favorite John Waters movie. I can watch it all the time. And Kathleen Turner is iconic. And I would have killed to see her as Tula Bankhead on Broadway. I'm just saying. Ugh. 
killed. I can tell you, I would have done it. If any of the old gays remember that, what was, what was Kathleen like in Tallulah? Was that any good? Let me know. All right, I got one side tease. I'm gonna tease out the rest and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, I am back. I got the wig all teased out. I put a perma tease into it and tease it up about two inches off the head because, well, Jessica Rabbit's hair is really flat to her head. Like for all illustrations I've seen, it like really hits flat on the sides and the back. And the top is where all the volume is for the bang to get that nice little whoop, shoop, kind of swoop bang set. I did the most I could so it's proportionate to my big old head because I can't wear flat against my head, girl. It's just gonna look so weird. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to smooth out as much as possible. Yes, because with Jessica Rabbit's hair, like I said, it's flat to the head and very much goes straight, 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 straight and then curls under. That's one thing I feel like a lot of people seem to miss when it comes to like Jessica Rabbit wigs I've seen recreated is that her hair is almost like a page boy and a peekaboo bang combined. Like it's very much an old vintage hairstyle that like goes straight and has been set, but underneath it curls under into sort of like a page boy kind of thing happening like that to give that nice round seamless effect. It's not cut hard and it's not like, you know, straight. Which even the Jessica Rabbit dolls, like the Barbie dolls they used to make of her, completely wrong with the hair. Oh my God, the hair on those dolls are so bad. But I still want one really bad just to transform it. It looks so awful. Where the hell would you even buy that? I wonder, like, I wonder if it was like an exclusive to like the Jessica Rabbit store at Disney World or Disneyland. Those of you who are Disney buffs, let me know. Was Jessica Rabbit's shop in Disney World or Disneyland? Because I always wanted to go and they got rid of it long, long, long time ago. So, for Jessica Rabbit's hair in the back, it's smooth and flat, like flat against her skull. Like there's really no volume back there whatsoever. All the volume is right up here in the bang, but we can't do that for a drag, okay? It's not gonna work. So, we're just gonna try and get nice and smooth and shellacked. And what I'm going to do is pull a little bit here for behind the ear and spray. Get a coat going. Cause like you think like film noir from like, you know, the olden days, black and white film noir, the ladies all had those shellacked, like really, really structured finger waved hairdos. And Jessica Rabbit is no different. She's very much a callback to those kind of things. And if you even go further into like the noir of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, it's really interesting. Like Who Framed Roger Rabbit was actually based on like a novel for adults. Like it was not a kid's book at all that it was based on. It was based on Who Censored Roger Rabbit, which Roger Rabbit was like, uh, the tone is, and story is completely wild and different. It varies very wildly from the movie. It's more or less, if I recall correctly, I had a copy of it. I don't really recall the plot that much, but I'll try and give you my regurgitated of it. And you can correct me when you Google it later. Basically, Roger Rabbit was a comic strip. Like, you know, think Saturday morning, you know, newspaper comics. And it was going off of like, what if cartoons existed in the world and everything like that. And the detective investigating it, Roger Rabbit dies. Like he's the one that dies. And he's trying to figure out who killed him. And Jessica Rabbit is his wife, and instead of being a lounge singer, she's basically like a strip model from a Tijuana Bible, if you know what that means. It's a, basically like a dirty comic book. Like Build Lily, that kind of vibe, is what Jessica Rabbit was in the book. And she's very, very mysterious, and I'm not gonna spoil anything more, but that's really the big change from like novel to movie. And it's really interesting that like they took this concept and expanded upon it to make it like more kid friendly and for the family when it really wasn't. Like I always thought that was so fascinating. Okay, now we're getting the style we need. Cause like I said, it's very shellacked and straight down the back. And then the wave starts to come in near the bottom, but we're gonna get to that when we get to it. So let me just straighten out some more. 
and I'm gonna get this hair all straightened out. And I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, now we are back. I smoothed out the back, now I'm working on the front. What I'm doing here is I tease it up high like I showed you before. Now I'm trying to bend it forward like that and pressing it as I smooth it because we're gonna mold it with hairspray and heat to get it to stay that nice swoop. Now for Veronica Lake proper, what you would do is you actually would do pin curls in a certain directional order that are angled towards the face so that when you pull them down, the curl will angle and cover the eye. But Jessica Rabbits doesn't necessarily do that. It's more animated. So it's more or less just a swoop drawn over. It's not the very stylized, you know, finger wave going across. But that's how you would do it properly if you were to do it. If you like Veronica Lake and want me to show you how to do it, I'll do it. But like, again, it's just pin curling. Not really too hard. Once you get the grasp on how to like actually pin stuff down to the head, it's really, really simple. But all of this is all gonna be hairspray. And we're gonna go along with the straight hairstyle that was already in it because the only real curl in Jessica's hair is on the bottom. She's an animated character and like people that do animation especially, you always find cheats around things. So if they could cheat the hair, that's what they're gonna do. Something that was very, very simple to draw right away over and over again, especially for a big animated movie. You can tell that's the direction they went with it. Like, oh yeah, that's easy for my hand to remember. So that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, hairspray and heat. And basically just gonna mold it and use clips to clamp it. Now the inside of the peekaboo bang, thankfully you never see. <laughs> like you can see it from this angle, but Jessica Rabbit is a character that exists forward to get the effect. So long as people aren't all up in your face like that, it'll be fine. Now I could take the time to go in depth and smooth it, but girl, I'm looking busy, okay? I don't have time to do all that. I gotta do a whole nother video after this. We are busy. Okay? You're gonna get the gist of it and you're gonna do better than I do when you eventually style it yourself. That's right, I'm challenging you. Because I'm giving you the foundation, approve upon my mistakes, okay? Love that for you. But take a pin and just... That's why I love these things, you just press it right in. Keep it in place. I don't... Here's the thing about peekaboo bangs. I love them, but they drive me insane. Because you're constantly just like... Ugh. Especially in drag, we wear these big eyelashes. Like this one has sort of a peekaboo, because Ernesto styled this one actually. This is one Ernie did. And it has a peekaboo bang, but I'm constantly just like, God damn it! It constantly hits my eyelashes. So I'm just like. <laughs> but it's so glamorous. It's just a pain. Ugh. But isn't that how it goes? Pain is beauty? Anyways. Here we go. Now I'm gonna start this section. Bottoms. Calling all bottoms. Here we are. It is a tad too long for Jessica, so I'm gonna trim a little bit off the back. This is all great. We just need to trim some here. And that'll be perfect length, because her hair isn't short, but it definitely isn't really, really long either. It's like a nice middle ground. Okay, now, the curling. The curling. Yes. <laughs> Let's find our big rollers, these guys, and we are going to add a curl to the bottom. And honestly, all we're doing here is just making sure the hair, basically, as close as you can to all go within the same motion of itself. Like when it goes, when you do the brush out, it all just folds together beautifully. That's the real trick of a page boy is make sure it all just folds under beautifully. And page boys, I used to do them all the time. I haven't done them in so long because they drive me insane. Anytime you have to do like symmet like symmetry, yeah, symmetry, where it's all even, you have to really spend a lot of time brushing it, spraying it, taking it down, teasing it again. Ugh, I just like to be done. That and like, I don't know, like I said before in previous videos, like. I'm not really big on like the mother of the bride hair anymore. Like I like hair that moves a bit more now. Like I used to really, really be big on like helmet hair. Not so much. Taste is changing. All right, curl under, just like that. We're not really gonna be bagging this. We're just gonna steam it to get it hot and then blow dry it. Cause like I said, we just wanna add a curl to it. If you're feeling brave, you also could just do a curling iron. 
if you have a large enough barrel. Just a very, very low heat setting and just curl it that way. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if ever you run out of space to pin, you also can just clip it with these. <laughs> like I am doing right now, just to get the hold still. And for the most part, these little clamps are pretty strong because all we need is for it to stay still and be tightly wound. And again, this isn't gonna be a really hard curl. It's just gonna be when we brush out so it folds under and spray. So I'm going to steam this with direct steam. I'm not gonna put a bag over it, just direct steam hitting it till it's nice and hot to the touch. And then I'm gonna blow dry it just by pulling the blow dryer at it until it's dry. Wait till it's completely cool to the touch. Don't take it down when it's still hot. Otherwise the curl is not gonna work, all right? I'm gonna do all that, I'll be <laughs> right back. All right, I am back. The hair is cool to the touch. Now let's take it down. This side's already starting to fall apart, so let me just take her down first. Like I said, it's only supposed to add like a subtle curl to the hair. And yeah, it did a little bit there. Yep, that's what I needed. We can work with that. Let's see. Ugh. Ooh, that side just completely came off. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, okay, good. It just needed to curl under some. Work, 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 work. The effect we want is basically for it to fold under, which it's starting to do. Brush, 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 brush. There it is. That's what you want for it to have the effect of, where it just kind of rolls under like that. Like I said, there is no real curl to the hair except for at the very, very, very bottom. Just to give you that nice little cartoony, seamless roundness effect. Now shellac it. Now if you want to make a helmet out of it, you by all means can, or you can let it have movement. It's up to you. I just go with shellac because that's just what I know. I go with what I know. Beautiful. Okay. She looking pretty cute. Let's just do the inside quick, make sure it's all even and distributed. That's one thing girls can never forget. Ernesto always reminds me, James, do the inside of the wig. <laughs> like it, people can see that too. It's like his biggest pet peeve with hairstyling. It's like he doesn't understand why people never smooth the back of the wig too. <laughs> like the inside of it. It is true, like you can't see it. But the one thing I don't want to see is a bunch of you agreeing with him in the comment section so I feel ganged up on. <laughs> Calling me out for the stuff I shouldn't be doing. That's not why I have this channel. <laughs> You're supposed to blindly follow me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, oh my gosh. All right, let's take the clips out. Now I'm gonna leave the one in front right here for now, just as I go through and just do finishing touches of smoothing and hairspraying and blow drying. But honestly, it's just going through, if you really want to like go the most, for the very, very bottom, spray it, hold it up like that and diffuser it. That way it really holds that shape, which I'm probably gonna do, but it's really awkward to do on camera and talk to you guys, it's really loud. So I'm gonna diffuse the bottom as I'm holding it up so it has like a roundness like that. And it's gonna burn that into shape, all right? I'm pretty much done. I'm going to do my finishing touches and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God, look at me. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> How fun, oh my gosh. Like it is totally serving you some Jessica Rabbit realness. Now I have to say, a little lesson I learned was while doing this, really, really, really go ham on the hairspray in certain sections. Not really so much here. Oh, a little bit here, but not, if you find a balance, okay? Because if you do too much, it starts to break apart and you get like a crack in the bang. So I had to go through and get some of the hairspray out and smooth over it just to make sure it looked nice and smooth in the front because it's the star of the show is this bang, girl. I will say, I am sticking to what I said earlier about peekaboo bangs. I can feel this thing just like pressing against my eyelashes. <laughs> like, I feel like it's forcing them open which I guess is what you want. You rather one is open than being forced closed. You don't look like, you know, you're, you're sleepy. Anyways, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. Ugh. If you have any more requests for celebrity wig recreations, let me know. 
And I'll definitely give them a shot. Like this one was actually really, really fun. It was suggested by a couple of you. I would like to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Denise, Sergio, Jessica, and Kevin. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Now this was so much fun to do. I cannot wait to see what you guys say down below. Oh my God. Girl, I am still traumatized from that little cartoon shoe scene. Like, let me know all of your favorite memories from Room Frame Roger Rabbit. I want to know, okay? Because that movie was like cute, but also kind of subtly dirty. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch you transform a wig from Area 15. Or see my in-depth tutorial on how to zip tie wigs. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll buy out all the toilet paper in your local grocery store just so you can't have it. So click it.